welcome back to the long dark and we're back at the lighthouse desolation point and we're running very low on food Let's take a look at our inventory we need to eat and drink and this is what we have left uh, 0.21 we have a little more water downstairs we're gonna go and get that we're gonna drink these pops yeah, we have plenty of room to drink that Drink that. That will help with our thirst as well. And we're going to eat this. We're going to need to go hunting very soon. Uh, and it sounds like the weather is good. There's 11 hours of daylight. Perfect to go out hunting. So let's take a look at what we've got in our inventory here. hunting tools yeah, we don't have much of anything we've got uh, a broken arrow and a crowbar so we're gonna drop that stuff off grab the hacksaw wherever that is where do we leave this stuff upstairs Still empty stuff in here so we're going to need this and we're going to need this bring these along as well and we don't need to bring that with us probably need to bring the lantern but we'll take that downstairs in any event we can just leave it outside where we can find it and we come up to return even if we have to return in the dark we can still find it Other sleeping bag in there as well. And where did it get to? Uh, okay. There's a wolf pelt and okay. Okay, so we have how much wood? Seven wood. So that uh, gives us two and a half hours. And no, that gives us uh, almost seven hours. I think. Yeah, that's quite a bit of hours. Uh, we can put some of our medicines away. to those. Put that in there. Okay. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Let's go. So let's uh, let's drop this lantern right here. Put this. Reload it. And the torch. We don't have a lot of torches. We've got two torches. We're going to need more than that. 
What did we do with all our torches? Oh dear. Some more torches. At some point, we're running low. Okay. Well, you can't do with a torch. You can always do the campfire when you need it. Well, let's go back up here. See if we didn't leave some more stuff somewhere. sleeping bag is up here. Okay. Well, let's get to hunting. We need to get some food. And there should be some water down here by the door. Where did that get to? There it is. Drink that. And we'll check our status. Okay. And uh, we have plenty of carrying room. We have our hacksaw for harvesting with. We need that because I think we're going to have to go and harvest those, uh, those uh, carcasses, the deer carcasses. We're going to need those. Uh, Hides probably. Check the weather. Yeah, it's not too bad. Minus five feels like. Wind chill here is uh, calm because we're hiding behind this rock here. Uh, if we can spot a deer, oh, I hear a bird. That's good. Immediate threats from wolves. here peek over this if there's deer here we'll creep up on them because I think we need a uh, really substantial amount of meat uh, to get us where we need to go we're gonna need to ferry one of those sleeping bags back what the heck is that is that a wolf feeding on a deer over there? It's just a wolf. I can't quite make it out. Even sudden movements like this can alarm the deer. 
I don't see anything around here, so that's not that's not very encouraging. the rocks. So, let's head over here. We're going to have to pick up this other carcass. There's a little bit of meat here. Uh, and a hide. And some gut, so it may be time to take that. As well as the one up on Katie's Baby's corner here. I do not see any crows today, so that's not usually a good a good sign. Take this meat and I'll just hide. I'm going to be cold after this and probably thirsty and hungry. A little bit. Let's look at what we got off this thing. The condition is 61%. Oh, it's in very good condition. Let's have a quick drink. just getting cold so we have about eight hours of daylight left so that wasn't a very good use utilization of our time there we had to have a little bit of food Deer will be much faster to harvest because it won't be frozen. That's the good news. It would be nice if we could get the deer to run into the wolf. That would give us a 2-4. We'd get hide, two sets of hides and two sets of meat. Nice. 
unfortunately he's moving away from us. He might come this way again. <clears throat> Deer are kind of funny. They uh, they don't always walk right up to you when you want them to. They seem to be aware of your presence even when you're crouching. But if you can get hidden. Go oh, getting our fire going. <clears throat> Handy thing we had that book. Let's add a bunch of this stuff. Okay, that's two hours. Let's see if that's enough to harvest this. Four hours, twenty-five minutes, and we are getting warmer. We have about uh, seven hours of daylight left. We got enough daylight to do this job. And what did I say we need? Three hours. Three hours, forty-one minutes. going to go out by the time we okay, drink this. Oh dear. We have become fatigued. And we've also gotten into ourselves into a storm. This is not good. Okay, let's try to get back. We have raw meat on us, so that's that's not always good. I don't hear any wolves. I mean, they're not around.
think we've checked these already. Ooh, there's a salmon. Grab that. It's probably in poor condition. Too windy to light towards. Well, if we could sprint now, we'd sprint. We don't have... We don't have a... Well, we're sprinting, but we're not going to be able to outrun any wolf. But it doesn't matter. We'll get over here. We'll be fine. We're a little bit cold. But we do have enough meat to last us a couple, three more days. So, so that's good. And... Uh, because we were running low on, we were running very low on food there. Now, did I re remember to drop the lantern by the door? I don't remember. This uh, wind is picking up too. That's also gonna, that's also gonna damage our clothing. So that's not an ideal situation. We did remember. And funny how the sound of the wind picks up in here. So let's uh, let's drop our goodies here. So, uh, and we only have uh, a couple of hours, it looks like an hour and a bit of uh, daylight left, so that means we're going to be cooking by firelight, and uh, we will probably lose a little bit of condition when we do that. Let's look at our condition. Our condition is, uh, I'm just looking at our condition. We're getting kind of ravenous, so that would be the first thing you do. That's about four hours of cooking plus a fish. It's ten minutes, four hours, ten minutes. So that's eight pieces of wood. Roughly. We have fifteen. And we need to cook well as well. So let's get on the job.
worry about. That will all come back as soon as we go to sleep. If we are uh, dying of thirst, of course, it's much more serious. Condition faster, as also with hypothermia. Uh, it's a bit tricky. If you have food poisoning, you need to you need to get to bed. That's me. left to cook. My goodness, we were hungry. And that's our, it for our water. Let's take a look at our... We still need more water, so we're going to need to... We're going to need to add more fuel. Cook this last piece of venison here. And that will cook up to 100%. No problem. And let's boil up two liters. So add fuel. That will give us enough time for four liters. Leader should take two hours. Let's see if I if I got my math right here. torch and then we'll go to bed. Put our food in here. Our cooked food. Because that's all we got right now. And we'll put a couple liters in there. terrible condition our clothing has gotten to with all that hunting. Probably not very good. Oh, not 
too bad, actually. We didn't get hit by that storm too horrible bad. Now, did we leave any clothing up here? I don't remember. I have a terrible memory. It's like a steel trap door. Empty and that's empty. What do we got in here? We've got our hammer and a bedroll. A bunch of feathers, so let's grab that. And I think we're ready to go to bed. Five percent condition, and there's four hours of darkness. So let's uh, let's sleep for about four hours. And then, if the weather's good, I want to start ferrying stuff back to the other base. We're going to leave our meat, the majority of our meat here. Okay, our condition is 100 percent. This. That was a little piece. Okay, now what have we got for stuff? We've got the hacksaw, we've got the, the rifle. Where did we leave our bullets? That I would. I thought we had more bullets than that, but maybe I'm mistaken. I think we left a lot of that stuff back at the, uh, the other place there. So... Let's uh, take a look at our inventory here. Uh, we're at 22 pounds, so we can take 8 pounds. So let's get the uh, bedroll. this material here. We don't need that. Take. Okay. And what have we got? We don't the hacksaw so we can actually bring the heavy hammer back with us and leave the hacksaw here because we're not going to be doing any more hunting so let's put the hacksaw in here at least not for a while we, I think we do have another hacksaw at the other place too so uh, I don't remember I have to go back and check go up and get our uh, heavy hammer. We're going to bring that back with us. You can tell it's windy outside, but it's not really bad windy. Bar. I don't think there's much that we have to pry open, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll bring that in as well. Okay. We're loaded for bear now.
few sticks, uh, some little bit of wood, uh, and the crafting stuff. We've got our bedroll, a good bedroll, a big hammer. Two. We got two pry bars for some reason. I'm gonna drop one of those off. Don't know why I've been carrying around two of them. That'll reduce our weight. That's that's a shame. Well, we may not be able to sprint very good. We need to get this stuff back to the base. <coughs> it was the whole reason to come down here was to get that sleeping bag so that we could set up for the big bear hunt. We got a little bit of stamina left, but not much. We're going to lose that as soon as we get real tired. And this is where I hate going slow. I like to run here, but... That is the Riken you see in the distance. I think we should be able to leave the rifle back at the base and we hustle back for the rest of our goodies. Because we do have the uh, hunting bow and, and an arrow, so those will uh, be enough in case we have to deal with somebody who needs scaring away. Uh, if it's a bear, of course, we can uh, usually outdistance him. If it's a wolf, we may need to plant an arrow in his face. And that'll be enough to get him to run away. Oh, there's some crows over there. Those are the ones hanging out with that corpse on the Riken. So there'll be some feathers there. I do not see any wolves yet. But this would be the place they want to be. Flats here. Very common. It's cold. There's some motion up there. Looks like something way up there moving. Yeah, there is a wolf up there on the road. And there's looks like another one over by right the front door there. That could be a rock. It's hard to make it out. It's just dark and it's not moving, so the way to tell when you're looking at any wildlife, whether it's with binoculars in real life or in the game is just to uh, watch it for a second, don't move and watch for movement. Let's see, have a good look around. Don't see anything from that way. There's nothing creeping up on us there. We should be able to make the little run in here. We 
need to actually get right inside because uh, we're going to have to drop these uh, hides for curing. We have plenty of time to head back, make a second trip. Locker. Oh, there's even food left here. Okay. So let's put that in there. Well, that's by weight. That's sort of by condition. It's all 99%. Eat. Drink. I'm going to drop this stuff here. Okay. And we can transfer this stuff as well. supplies. So we'll put that stuff in here. Lots of feathers. Some cloth. Plain wood, just enough for a small fire. Uh, I think we should leave some torches here too. Uh, we didn't leave the bullets here, so there's a one torch. And so we'll down. So we'll leave that. An arrow here. Rifle. I'm going to take this and one simple arrow. It's not in great condition, but what can you do? So that gets us way less loaded. That as well. This. That gets us a lot lighter. Okay. And food. Clothing. We've got no spare clothing. And we have our medicine, so. Okay. What have we got in here? Oh, that's our spare clothing. Okay. And how much time have we got left? We get 10 hours of daylight, but we are getting pretty tired. Uh, I wonder if we dare have a quick nap here. That would help us. That would help us to get our fatigue back. Back in condition. Okay, 
That should let us carry the rest of everything back. Okay, let's make sure we have a weapon. Took our arrow, the little bum. Well, that's not good. Let's give chase. We didn't drop our arrow yet. Doing that, he slipped away on us. That's not smart. And he took our arrow too. Oh, that's not the direction to go. That is not the direction to go. Right, I do not see any blood out here. So we should have kept on a little better. gotten up this before.
Now we're going to have to harvest by hand, unfortunately. Because this guy... Uh, did we bring... Did we bring the hammer or did we bring the hacksaw? I think we left the hacksaw. So we don't have anything to harvest with. put this meat in the locker over here, the outdoor locker, uh, and we're going to come back for that hide later once we have retrieved yep, we've run out of steam, we're fatigued so we're going to have to rest here I'm going to put this meat in here. What condition was it? 86, okay. to harvest with. That is a bummer. Everything is so heavy. And we've got lots of guns in there. We could head back to the other location. Uh, I need to get that arrow though. We could try to get back there tonight. I don't know if we can make it or not. It's touch and go. Let's take a look at our... Okay, we're still pretty drained. We're not going to be able to run at all. Uh, let's go get the rest of that warm, however. Uh, darn it all. Anymore. 
just make it back to the other base. Be fun. Because uh, I need to let my... We even have time to stop here. Grief and feathers up here. seeing too many feathers today. What's with that, folks? There's a feather. It's hard to spot them sometimes. Especially here on this black background. Here's another one here. Oh, two feathers. That's better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, isn't it? Ooh, and here's some metal. We might as well take that and drop it off somewhere. Make it right about here. No use carrying that sucker around. We really don't have any wood on this. Okay, it's getting to be sunset. What a beautiful evening. Something else over there. That's another carcass. Or the frozen deer carcass is what it is. And we cannot harvest it because we only have the hacksaw. And it is back in the lighthouse. And that's the whole reason why we're coming back here. To get that. And the rifle, I believe. Or did we? No, we left the rifle back at the got my own advice which was to go up the swale back. We're not able to get up here today. Wasting our energy doing this probably, right? We should be saving it for outrunning those wolves. bridge should be safe. Better run. Can't run. I do have a bow and arrow, so I could dispatch a little bugger. 
You still following me? Oh, he gave up. That's just as well. reason why I'm carrying this torch back in without extinguishing it is that uh, I want to use it to light the fire in here. I don't know if I actually need a fire, but... Uh, yeah, I may not actually need a fire. In which case we only need it to find the bed. And some water. We're low on water. At the moment. There is some water. I'll take it. And get the rest of our food here. And there's the hacksaw which we needed. Our food drawer. Oops. We have anything left to harvest here either. I think we done harvested everything except the metal stuff. And there's nothing hiding behind anything here. That's empty, that's empty. And what have we got in here? Well, we got a pry bar and another sleeping bag. And that brings us up to 21 kilos, which is easy for us to carry. And that will get us everything out of here, except for the wood. We'll bring as much of that as we can. And I think we're going to have to make some water, because I think we look kind of low on water. Yep. What happens if you jump off the edge here? Does anybody know? You die? Yeah, it goes down quite a ways, doesn't it? Let's not find out. We'll leave that for Jeltaz to do in one of his science experiments. Well, actually, we could easily do it, but we'd have to start a new life and, and not uh, end this life here prematurely. Okay. So, inventory, water, we have... Condition venison. I don't think we need to make any more water. And we brought the lantern back with us. Okay, we need to figure out how, how much darkness we got left. Oh, X hours of daylight, so we have 8 hours, 46 minutes. So we got about 15 minutes of daylight left, so that means 9 hours of night. Let's some more water. And sleep for about 9 hours. Make sure our clothing is in good shape. Yeah, clothing's not too bad. And we can't repair because we left the clock back home. Rest. And I think this takes us into day eight, doesn't it? Let's see what we're at. We wake up. And we've survived nine days, so we're into we're well into day ten. We're almost finished day ten. So 
100% condition. We're thirsty, hungry. Okay. And we have the other bedroll with us now. I'm just going to bring that with us. And uh, we've got plenty of room. So, yep, we're all well rested. We get two hours of darkness left, so let's sleep for two hours or three hours. And then I need to take a little break, so we're going to end the episode here. And next episode we'll head we'll head back to the uh, whaling station.